Good day, class. How are you? I hope you are all fine, in good health, and safe while watching this video. Today, I'm going to discuss last week's activity, the 3D modeling of, ter uh, of terrain using AutoCAD. Uh, but before that, I would like to congratulate you all for the job well done. For submitting your work prior to this discussion, this this means that you've done your research and you self-study. So keep up the good work and um, I hope you continue this positive attitude in uh, keeping yourself busy, learning new things while we have this pandemic. Okay, I'm pretty sure after this semester you'll be a good, uh, you'll use this skill. Um, on the coming subjects and uh, in making your designs so okay so I am again I am uh, congratulations and I am very proud of uh, the learnings that you have gained under my supervision under my instruction okay so let's start so how to make 3D terrain using AutoCAD. So this is my method. Um, it doesn't mean that your method is wrong and my method is right. Uh, what's important is that you executed uh, the successfully executed executed the the, the activity last week. Um, just have to to. Um, to take note of my comments on uh, my evaluations on your work because that's my my job as your instructor okay so let's discuss first what is a topographic map so by definition topographic map is a two-dimensional representation of earth's three-dimensional landscape Okay, so it is very important that you can um, you can read a topographic map. Okay, uh, this picture here is the 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 output of the three D terrain I've given you the the topographic uh, map map that I've given you. So this is the 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 result of the, the result using AutoCAD, the ordinary AutoCAD, and using the loft command. While here at the right is the result of the AutoCAD uh, architecture version 2018. So um, I used the drape command, the, the most efficient command in making your uh, 3D terrain. So if you have a chance to install that uh, this uh, version, um, uh, you install it. You use the the updated version of AutoCAD. Okay. So here's the topographic map that I have given you. So here's the contour lines. By definition. Contour lines are imaginary lines on the land surface, all points of which are at the same elevation above a datum plane, usually means the sea level. So, as you can see here, this is the elevation. Okay, elevation, uh, positive 5, 0, negative 4, negative 9, and 12. And this is the x and y distance so that you'll be able to um, to locate the points okay here's my procedure I, I i have four procedure or four steps on creating 3d terrain so first is you insert the jpeg of the top map that i have given you and make sure that it is properly scaled so the command used are insert raster image reference distance and the scale 
So, here's my demonstration. Okay, so insert raster image. And then you select the file. This point, it is not accurate. I use the distance command to print length of from 0 to 100. It's 117, so I copied it. Okay. Then, go and type command scale, so reference. R, so I paste the current. I input 100. that it will have the correct length from 0 to 100. Okay, so that's my technique on uh, assuring that your JPEG uh, file is accurate. Uh, for example, katong 0 to 100. So, pag import ni mo add to class, um, dili pa mang dito siya accurate yun nga 100 ang length niya. So, I use distance and then um, reference dayon uh, reference uh, scale and then reference is in in scale using reference you've got to input the current the the, the current length niya and then change it into a new length which, which is 100 okay i hope that it's clear to you all so uh, moving on to the next procedure. The step number two, you plot or trace the contour lines either of the following commands. Okay, you can use polyline. Polyline, you convert it to arc and sec or seconds. And then offset and stretch. And then the most efficient command is the spline. So here's my demonstration. Okay, I am using here a polyline and then uh, R. And I use X. Okay, so the next one is I use of step stretch, but I find it um, not practical in this one because the second contour line is not parallel with the first. So I have a lot of time on the stretch, stretch uh, the opposite contour line in, to, in accordance to the, the shape of the second contour line. So, mag matter you have on it, you have to evaluate if applicable balance yung command. And then, this, uh, the next command that I use is the client. So, this is the most efficient. It's efficient. Or command you in case. Fast. Never use you because the one key commands class sa AutoCAD. Just have to decide what commands you and dapat katong accurate and fast. Okay, it demonstration on uh, procedure step number two. Okay, so we're moving on to step 3 or procedure 3. Move the contour lines along x-y axis according to its elevation. So, according to y axis. Okay, so commands use are viewports, 
the UCS3P to change the access. So I have the, this uh, technique that I, I will create a rectangular uh, shape, bo a box, and then I used USC, UCS3P to direct the access uh, to, to assign the points, the three points, para dali ra ang pag vertical. Because uh, sometimes mang good if, uh, di ba, tuluma na siya, the, um, ano siya, no, the, the, the Z, the X, and then the Y. So, imo na siyang ituyok-tuyok ka ron para mo direct ang 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 imuhang cursor no so ana na na siya makita ninyo karon sa demonstration ako later and then move diagonally vertically okay here's my demonstration okay so first i change the viewports to three windows I have an isometric view side elevation and then the top. Assigning Balin Shia Plus and White. Okay, the young and the good and the high. I move that for uh, four lines. Negative going down, positive going up. Okay, so that's it. So after you move the contour lines vertically according to its elevation, the next is the step number four. You will create the terrain using loft command if you are using the regular AutoCAD or the drape command if you are using the AutoCAD architecture. So, commands used for the AutoCAD, for the regular AutoCAD, are loft, thicken, rectangle, extrude, or move, um, subtract, separate, and then erase. Okay, here's my demonstration. Okay, so loft. So, fast guy, siya class. And then, you can to assign thickness to your mesh. And rectangle, shape of property, boundary, and then you subtract. Um, and be separated. The 3D terrain using AutoCAD 2017. So in this, um, okay. So here's my demonstration. So you type the drape command, and then you select all the contour lines, and select the corner. Hold. install the latest um, the la latest version of AutoCAD so uh, in yung install mo na siya ang ganita so you use the the latest okay so there you have it that's my method and um, thank you for for the positive attitude that you are showing me. Um, I haven't checked all of your works yet because it took me um, some time to watch your all your videos and your work. Um, so, dili pa kay and then mag, mag, mag make pa ko of, uh, video for, for, 
for the lessons or discussions. So I hope that you have uh, the patience to to wait. Um, sige lang kay ako ragya po paning kamutan nga ma-check nako tanan uh, ma-check nako um tanan niyo works uh, as soon as possible. Okay, but uh, so far um, you you did a good work on your 3D modeling and you improved uh, a lot better on making your videos, you know. Who knows, after this uh, pandemic, you have a sideline already, so YouTube, because you, you, uh, you, you are, I know, um, you are skilled na sa video editing. Now, I know that it's not easy to, uh, edit videos um, so okay so uh, keep up the good work and see you next uh, lesson so if you have any questions you can reach me you can send me a message uh, at my email bigormarisal at gmail.com or you can send me a message a private message at our at my fb page at my fb account or you can write uh, or post your questions at our group page okay so goodbye class um keep safe and god bless Okay, see you next time.